2000 Cape Horn, 17 foot, 15 Mercury four stroke, year 2016. Right at 400 hours on her. But this is her. There's not a lot of reviews about the smaller Cape Horns on YouTube. We're gonna start at the front. Got a nice LED nav light, a front cleat. In the front, we've got our anchor storage. Big storage here. It could also second as a fish box, but it had to be. There's a drain plug down there. All the lids have these latches that are kind of a pain. The front here, fish box. You see, I still got ice in it from yesterday. But the fish box is pretty good size. Uh, definitely big enough for anything I'm going to catch. I mean, you could fit a nice king mackerel in here, no trouble. All the way across right there. Very cool. Sitting right behind us, we have the front seat. It's big enough for two small people. We lift it up. Up top, you can see in there, there's my 40-gallon fuel tank. As well as behind the console, all of the wiring, fuse panels everything it's kind of a it's kind of crazy it's right here front on top of the fuel tank but it's just like how it has to be i guess there's not a lot of storage in here you see most of the stuff i have stored i've tucked around the tank you can't come up any higher with anything here than this lip because when this shuts down it'll hit it i sit my tackle box or bag right here when we go fishing it fits perfect and if anyone else has anything you know we we try to do what we can and finding a spot for it to be stored most a lot of times it ends up in that front compartment just because of lack of storage on this boat all right right here we're looking at the console i'm standing behind the leader boat so we've got our steering wheel based our hydraulic steering nice updated fuse panel we've got an rpm gauge not reading correctly it's jipping me about 800 rpms so if i'm cruising around 4,000 rpms i'm doing around 32 33 so can't go by that i'm glad that my mercury motor has mercury vessel view app with a module on the motor i watch all my rpms through my phone i got a video of all snipping right here of uh, that right now fuel gauge engine hours vhf radio mounted in the console good little storage tray the throttle with trim a little bit of storage down here there was some bait trays in here never use them and now i just throw you know whatever in there whenever i need to but that one has an updated latch or a different latch on it than the rest of the boat leaning post right here comes open this is where i keep a lot of uh, my leads for drop uh, bottom fish in rope just hoses you know this is kind of like the junk drawer of a boat right here junk drawer of a boat coming up top um, we've got a boss audio system head unit with two uh, six and a half inch ball tweeters, a light that shines down over this. There's a little bit of storage in here, but if you can imagine with these two speakers being there and the head unit, it ate up a lot of space inside of this. I'm not real happy with it. Life jackets in this tea bag right here above my head. Four life jackets in there. The boat is rated for five people. Stepping back a little further, we'll look up. This boat does have a T top on it. We've got LED uh, lighting as well as or nav light also more lighting on the front of the t-top and these lights do a good job of lighting the entire deck we've got two rod holders down the side gunnels on both sides we've got four more mounted right here to uh, up against the splash well on the right we've got our live well 17 gallons on this side we've got the battery box a little bit extra storage you see these hoses are running around because i replumbed my live well the bilge pump and i added a wash down pump it only has one battery you notice there's not a trolling motor on the front of this thing right now i haven't figured out how i'm gonna do all that if i even want one i'm not gonna lie i do want one i've only been on this taking this boat out a handful of times i just got it a few months ago and looking forward to spending some more time on her but one thing i was just thinking about i wanted to tell y'all was the amount of rod holders on this boat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen rod holders 
on a 17 foot boat could count these as rod holders or not there's a leaning bar or like a backrest that sits in those rod holders and i'm gonna tell you the boat just is so it's so much more maneuverable around here when it's not here i mean you can sit right here facing the opposite way while you're trolling and still have hands on the controls um, with that backrest it really lim limits you and makes you walk around this leaning post and that's that's why i have taken it out of the boat the t-top like that you know a lot of the tubing is real is the thicker material but even on these these braces you know they they use the kind of rectangular tubing because they know that that's going to be a hand rest and that's something that i really do like it's like that on both sides everything is reinforced doubled up even across the back this isn't that angular tubing i was talking about but it is a smaller diameter and i mean any anytime you need to grab anything it's the right size and that's, that's something that was a big selling point on me with this boat was this t-top already being on it it's shoot i mean everybody wants a t-top on their center console thank you all for watching and if you have any questions about the 2017 foot cape horn uh let's shoot me a comment and let me know and i'll see if i can't help you out let you know what you need to know i appreciate y'all watching bye